All right, we're going to do a second attempt at trying to uh, put this thrift store stuff that I got for like a buck and a half onto the edge where my bed is. And uh, it's a little thick, so I'm going to take a uh, box cutter and I'm going to cut it down a little bit. We're going to use some glue. All right, we'll see. I don't know if it's going to work. <laughs> So I worked on it, I took the burner off and basically just turned it around to see if it would do any better. Alright, so I got it a little bit more even. The back's got a little bit more heat than the front, but I worked on it a bit and I think I get another season out of it. We'll see. Yeah, I think it'll do. It'll do. I should check into another burner for this. Or just buy the real grill I want. Alright, YouTubers. This is super RV cleaning day. I took the uh, foam mat out from under here, which probably hasn't been up in about a year. Vacuum that all up real nice. Gonna clean that thing. And then we're gonna take this one out of here too. We'll put some new duct tape down to keep it in place. Clean that up first. Gotta do this stuff. So we can go on the next trip and have a good time. Alright, so that's up. And that's out of here. I get asked a lot, um, if I ha if I got another RV, what would it be? And honestly, why I try to keep this clean and why I try to do such good maintenance is, it's, it's the truth. I don't want another RV. This is this is the one for me. Just uh, just a fan of this RV. I couldn't be any happier. So what we got here is that is uh, hot soapy water, and we're gonna wipe things down and. Uh, keep clean try to keep it in good shape because seriously this 99 leisure travel I wouldn't change hardly anything on this RV all right I wiped everything down with hot soapy water that and I'm gonna try to get this tape off of there with some goo gone too I'm gonna redo it all okay youtubers there's another uh, thrift store repurposing that's just a backpack bag and the beauty of this is I can use it to store stuff in and then when I need to I can use it as a backpack. This is that USB fan, tower fan that I got real cheap from the thrift store. I put that in the bag. A couple of these, just little O2 cool ones. I put those in the bag. I got more fans than I need. It's another USB one. Put that in the bag. Here's a 12 volt fan. Guess where it's going? That's right, it's going in the bag. And then I have batteries. And they'll fit there. And to be honest, these probably won't get used very often, but again, I never show people on YouTube, but sometimes things like this get lent, and sometimes things like this get given away. You'd be surprised how many people get out there camping and they don't have a fan. I don't know what they're thinking. Oh, and then I got this job here. Might have to, uh, might have to trim that down a little bit before we get going. But there we go. A bag full of fans. And if I end up, uh, needing it as a backpack, I dump all this crap out and I use it as a backpack. Alright, so repurposing thrift store stuff. So I know it's too many fans, but here's the logic behind it. Um, whether dry camping or when on power, Sometimes those little USB fans especially are awesome because you can put them where you want them and they're quiet. So, you know, if, if you're on power and you're not running your AC at 2 o'clock in the morning and you can't sleep because there's so much noise. So, I also have a long cable, that um, a 6-foot USB adapter, and I also have a 12-volt um, long cable adapter if I want to run 12-volt fans that just makes it so you can put fans where you want them to be. So I'm gonna put this back in. I got it all cleaned up. It's a little faded, so it looks like it might be dirty, but it's not dirty. Let's see if we can get it back in there. I really am a fan of this. As you can see, I clean that line all up. This is, uh, for some reason, this is jelly bean duct tape. 
why jelly bean duct tape? Because it was on sale. <laughs> knowing about this right now to be honest with you oh what the hell right duct tape duct tape it was a buck 64 so it was like half the price I attempt to not go overboard, but that's probably too late. But the cooler goes in and out of here a lot, so a little bit of duct tape will help. There we go. That's a little different. Quite a bit different, but hey. I have some regular duct tape if I don't if I get to where I don't like that. Rip it up or tape over. Alright, let's put the other piece in. Now why am I showing this? It's just a different option for those that might not want to go through tearing carpet out and trying to put tile or whatever changes you might want to make because you don't like the carpet. This was a $10 fix that's lasted years for me. So I'm just trying to share an idea that might work for others, might work in your RV. Easy is sometimes the best solution. Piece of cake. And remember, none of this stuff is rocket surgery. And I know rocket surgery is not a thing, it's like a joke. So if you're very literal, it's a combination of rocket science and brain surgery, rocket surgery. So I got these. I showed this project a while back. This was uh, cheap stuff I got. And I thought of something while doing these. Um, I don't know how well they're going to stick or stay or if I even like how it turned out. But again, it was cheap. And if it doesn't work right or I want to change it, my idea was friggin' duct tape. I just put some duct tape along the edge of that. Every now and then I catch my leg against that plywood, and uh, this might help that a bit. Alright, there's a couple simple RV things. Have a great and wonderful day.